Yo, what is going on, guys? Today, I'm giving you 50 pack openings. These include gold minis, which are non-tradable, regular golds, jumbo premium golds, a lot of golds, basically, and they're going to be 50 packs. I was supposed to do a live commentary. I did do a live commentary for most of these. There were many problems, though, mainly my Elgato messing up the audio, and it just, uh, I, I couldn't deal with it. It was just, it wasn't good, and I didn't want to give you guys that. And another reason why I'm pretty happy to say I'm not giving a live commentary, obviously, reaction-wise, it sucks that it's not in here, but the video would have been over 25 minutes. I don't think you guys would want to watch a 25-minute video. Obviously, it's pack openings, and I did pull some good stuff, like Bufflin right there, 45k, basically, but I can't tell him, but he's he does help, and he did help me collect the Winnipeg collection in terms of getting more of these packs, but basically, I think this I'm gonna have live commentary pack openings as well and obviously soon but these packs are 50 they're over 50 so do you guys really want to watch a like 30 minute live commentary pack opening I do pull some really good stuff obviously you guys will see later in this video not too much longer from now but you will see I pull a really good card a better card than Jeff Carter I'm not gonna spoil who it is but I want to know who your guys best pull was or your guys best pulls what your guys best pack maybe you got like 488s in a pack it's better than your 89 pull but i want to know your best pack what your best packs to open are these gold minis i heard a lot of complaints about but i have a lot of good things to say about them obviously it kind of does suck when you get like a good card like the bufflin you can't sell them but there are benefits because i could use them on my team i didn't have to pay anything for him he helped with my winnipeg collection but i can't sell him in case i never want to use him or if he's bad at the game but still he was free so that that's pretty cool so anyway we're just opening some of these packs we're not getting too much good stuff here but again later on in the video i pull a really good card and then there's two pretty good cards i get as well but those were in free packs so one of them was actually in a free pack one of them wasn't so actually i got two good pulls that i could sell and i did end up selling both of them and then one card at the end of the episode which is a free pack which is my last free pack which is a really good card and i'm gonna be happy to put them on my team or use them again guys i want to talk about a few more things so there will be live commentary pack openings on my channel these pack openings are not going to be 50 of them there will probably be like 10 packs or 15 packs just if i get a good reaction i'll put that there or if i get a really good pull because 50 pack openings is i think just way too long for a live commentary so that's why this is not a live commentary and i blame my elgato but you guys still see all the packs I got, the good pulls I got, and stuff like that. I want to talk about how I got all these packs. Obviously, some of them were uh, already on my account. A lot of them, all the uh, the minis are from collecting collections. Collecting collections, I'm sorry about that. But getting done collections, and that is mainly because I've just been really working the market, making coins, and then when I make my profits, I'll buy big players, I'll collect teams, get gold minis, and I've got lucky, like the Goudreau in the beginning you saw, I could sell my Goudreau and still have the Goudreau, so that's 14k easy coins. And then... I've been actually doing pretty well on knowing all the prices. I know about 80 to 90% of people's prices because I've been working the market a lot and I've been making a lot of coins. I have over 450k coins now. Again, one of the cards in here, you will see why I got, a, I'm going to say, a price range of 150 to 250,000 coins. So you will see that later on, but he didn't end up helping. That is how I'm making most of my coins, though. It is using a... Mar uh, the strategy that's been going pretty good for me and just knowing all the prices and getting the best deals selling them for more money or more coins obviously and just making more profit and then what i do is i complete collections and then if i get lucky enough to get like a good draw or something like that or an expensive card that i already have on my team i could sell the one that i bought and then put the one that's free on my team so i get free coins basically a fox a really good pull sadly i cannot sell him and i do not have one on my team but he's a 20k player and he i mean he's a good player and 86 overall it would suck if you got like a good player who's not really good in the game, but I think Falk will probably be a pretty good player. So if I end up ever using him on my team, I don't have to buy him. This is another pretty good pull. Obviously, this one kind of does suck a little bit more than Falk. He's 30k and he is only an 82 overall. But again, he is free, so I can't really complain too much. It's better than pulling absolutely nothing. So I'll be happy about that. Anyway, we're coming close to the, uh, the good pull, so I will show that soon obviously we still have a bunch more packs to go through gold packs we got a cadre so that's pretty good again i want to talk about the dikastry series if you guys haven't seen episode one i highly recommend it not highly recommend it but i highly like advise you guys to go check it out and if you guys can give me some feedback episode two might be up already or be it'll be up after this and i think you guys will enjoy that i think that episode's probably a bit better besides my elgato messing up but I think I fixed my Elgato. Hopefully I fixed it because it's really annoying when it messes up everything. Messes up the video, the audio, all that stuff. This pack we got a Kucherov and a McKinnon. McKinnon is being like is able to sell. I ended up selling him for 60k. His price you saw there, it said 47. I took my time, worked the market a bit, and I sold him for like 61k. So I made profit there. Obviously I made profit because I didn't have to buy him for anything. I just got him in a pack. So we're down to the last few gold, jumbo, premium, whatever you want to call these packs. Just premium gold, premium jumbo gold. Anyway, the 17.5k packs. We're down to the last few. There's been nothing too great pulled. We pulled a McKinnon, but we had like 20 of these packs. 
but I think this pack is going to change my mind. That's right, we pulled a 90 overall. That is insane. That is by far our best pull this year. We've pulled some pretty good stuff this year, including the Carter, who's worth, well, I did end up selling for 90K, but 274,000 price last sold. By the way, spoiler alert, I only ended up selling them for 215K, but that's still 215,000 coins, which is insane. So that was a huge pull. As you can see in this pack, it was all right. We got a Jeff, uh, why did I say Jeff Carter? We did not get a Jeff Carter. We got a Eric Stahl. Some other good players as well are in these packs. They're not amazing players but just like 84 85s that sell for two to 5k they are obviously helping the thing helping our team and value wise and all that stuff so the rest of these packs are going to just be the minis and that means sadly i cannot sell the stuff here but it's all free stuff that i got from doing collections and doing collections is something that i've been really focusing on this year i've been usually i would work with other people they would do half and half this year all i've been doing is literally completing the whole entire collection there are a few exceptions like for the islanders i asked one guy if i could borrow just tavares but i completed the whole entire collection he let me borrow Tavares for a second I completed it and boom most of the other collections like Toronto I completely bought them all myself and what I do is I just try reselling big items for a lot of coins and right now I'm just keeping all the little stuff in my inbox or my like collection just because I do want to have eventually all the items in this because it's going to work with my hut series if you guys haven't seen that hut series or haven't seen the Deke Street, which is it, I highly recommend it because I actually am really happy with what the effort and all that stuff I putting in it this year episode one is up episode two again I'm not sure if that's going to be up yet or if it's going to be out after I do really recommend it if you could check that out and tell me what you think about it. I think it's pretty good. There's a lot of stuff in it. There is obviously games. There's obviously me building my team. There's a point system, which is pretty cool. So it's a bit different as well as I don't, I haven't seen anyone do it this year. Some people started doing it last year, but I started it in like 13 and I just never stopped doing it. I know some people started it and stopped. There are player tributes or highlights in it of real NHL clips. I did shorten it. It used to be like two to three minutes per person. Now it's around a minute to a minute and a half per person because I feel like I don't want to make that too long for obvious reasons. This is NHL shell 16 not like just hockey so you got to focus on the game as well as just adding a little bit of like realistic clips like not realistic but real life clips to change it up a bit as well as there's going to be some editing on the video as well which i haven't really done in past so i think that's gonna be pretty cool there was editing in this if you saw it well obviously you saw it with the ben pull it's stuff like that just i want to start doing more stuff like that not exactly that but just things like that to make my videos that much better make my commentary that much better and just overall hopefully my videos become that much better do all that stuff and being consistent i think my channel should be very good this year or at least pretty good my commentary obviously i don't think i have the greatest voice for that i'm still trying to make it the most entertaining it can be talking loud talking into the mic trying not to say like stupid stupid stuff like um just trying to make my stuff the best it can be and that all depends on you guys if you guys like it if you guys like the videos that are coming final pack is going to be a gabrick that's pretty sick i pulled some really really good stuff in these free packs and i want to know what you guys pulled your best pull in a free pack and your best pull overall if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like and i will see you guys next time back to my ways. people always ask how i got my nice things take my crown to the grave i'm an underground king